All right, folks. This is Dakota's. Come on, bub. I know this is good stuff. We're gonna let. We're gonna turn you out with Toby and Goose, and this is Dakota's first time being turned out with them. They've had for the past almost two months. They've been able to stand at the fence and get to know each other, which has been wonderful. So let's see what happens. Be a good man. Go find your new friends. You've been turned out in this pasture before. Let's see, he's gonna go find them. I'm gonna keep this. He ran right by Tobes. He's going in to say hello to Goose. He's checking everything out. <laughs> Toby's like, oh, I got a new friend. Dakota's like, oh, how's the grazing out here? Is it good? All right, let's go play. Dakota needs this. When I had all four of my horses on my property together, they were always turned out together. Be, be calm, guys. Look at them. And this is how horses truly are meant to be. They're herd animals. They feel safer in a herd turned out together. I would never have just brought him here and willy-nilly let him be turned out with other horses without the proper introduction. And again, uh, uh, almost two months of them getting to know each other over the fence line. And Dakota has always been a gelding who loves to play. He just loves to play. What are you doing? Hi, handsome. Hi. I have to, I just gotta look out for Tobe Tobes because he is, he's little and he thinks he's big. <laughs> Those, that's all playful, kicking out, not anything mean. But I'm gonna hang out here with them until they settle down, obviously. So I brought a coffee and some snacks. Just gonna hang out. But Toby is fast. He is one fast little pony. That's a little pony too. Good grief, he's, I bet he's not even 11 hands. Truly, he's that tiny. Goose is, he's a, he's a, looks like he's a calorie saver. He's like, uh, you know, I gotta, I'm not gonna expend my energy on galloping around. What is wrong with these two? And there you have it, slip sliding away. It did rain last night, so it is a little wet. What are you doing? <sighs> Dakota, dude, er, er, er. Cause that's what happens. You had a little
I may, I'm gonna grab some hay and throw some hay out so they can just graze if they feel like it. What goose? He's like, I'm not sure why we're all excited here, but I'm gonna join in sorta. Gonna join in sorta. <laughs> this is the most exercise they've probably all had since summer began and the heat crept up. It's been an awfully humid and hot summer. I mean, I, I know it's summer, but good grief, we are in New England. Hi. Well, hello, be careful, Bubba. Gotta watch Dakota, because he might try to jump that fence. He, last fall, almost a year ago, it'll be a year in October, he attempted to jump a six-foot panel. <sighs> yeah, because I had him at a facility where he really didn't have turnout. He had a little dry paddock, and so, and he's a horse that likes to do this. This used to be Dakota every single morning with the other three horses that I had. This is what I would wake up to, thundering hooves. He loves to play. So, but anyways, getting back to his injury and trying to jump out of a round pen so it was easily six feet tall, and he didn't make it. Um, This is typical, you know, it's gelding behavior. But anyways, his injuries required um, a massive amount of stitches inside and outside. He ripped open his shoulder, it healed up beautifully. Hats off to Tufts University and ambulatory services. Um, Dr. Hern, was it Dr. Hernke? I think so. That came out, at, no, maybe it wasn't him. It was a British veterinarian that they have on staff. Anyways, he came out and did the most meticulous suturing I've ever seen. You would never know. You would never know he had an injury there. There's no sign of it. I mean, if I cut my face, I would go to this veterinarian and have him sew up my face. He was that good. It's funny, I almost feel like Dakota has a reverence for Toby. Toby's energy as this little pony is really big, 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 big. He's very cocky, very sure of himself. See, Dakota doesn't even squeal at him. He loves Toby, and I think Toby's got, a, got something special for him too. It's adorable, look at them. Oh, I am suspect that Dakota is a crypt orchid. Um, when he was out with my mare, she was very pushy with him. She had such a crush on him. And when she was in heat, she would just get all in his face. And um, he did, um, for lack of a better word, he did the dirty deed with her. I witnessed it. Um, not that anything could happen, because he's sterile, but... Um, Toby is going to be Dakota's shadow. You guys want some hay? And I do believe that it kind of looks like Dakota is going to acquiesce and submit to Goose.
Good boys. Good boys. You can see out there. The other two guys. They've been together quite a while, so. Oh, we got some Fleming action going on. Dakota sniffing the ground and Fleming. I am gonna throw some hay over the fence line so they don't find enough to graze on. They can munch hay. We're going to put a gate, it sounds like Emily had, she had mentioned, she wants to put a gate between these pastures, these turnouts, so that'll make it nice when we want to let them all get together. I'm so grateful to be here, guys, because this is a place that really has replicated um, how I would typically, you know, take care of my horses. They need to be together. They're herd animals. They're happier when they're turned out. You know, unless, honestly, unless you have, you know, show horses, I mean, they still need to be turned out. But my point is that sometimes horses, when they're born into an environment where they spend most of their time in a stall with fans and away from bugs and all of that, they prefer it, you know, because that's what they're used to. But, um, yeah, my little Luna, she was quite the fancy little AQHA paint mare. Um, she acclimated just fine to be in a pasture, pasture pony. And again, they always have access to a run-in, so they're protected if they need it. Hi guys, hi Toby. Hello handsome boy, you're such a good boy. Yes. And you are too. Hi, hi, let me see that eye honey. Let me see that eye. It looks a little, it's a little runny, huh? It's a little, both your eyes are a little runny. Yeah. What do you think? Is it okay? You got a new friend out here? He's going to hang out with you for the day. Yeah. And then tonight, when it's time to eat, he'll go back out. Look at, oh my gosh. This Toby is madly in love with Dakota. All right, well, I'm gonna go get some hay and put that over the fence for them to have. Oh, I'm turning on the wrong light. I'm gonna be wearing this, you know it. So you know what I'm gonna do? Mm-hmm. Grab a few flakes. Some hay. 
I'm gonna have to throw this really far because I've done better. Y'all can have hay to eat. Should you decide that's what you want. Now, I do have to go check Dakota's hay supply. He's probably okay. I gave him quite a bit last night. I'm big on forage, guys. In fact, I have a new hay net. And it's it holds an entire bale. So when the weather starts getting a little more, he ate it all. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and grab more hay and then I'm gonna clean his paddock area so I don't have to do that later. All his hay will be in here. And set up for tonight. Moose, you're smart. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna get my fill of this hay before they notice there's hay to be gotten. But hush, pretty baby. Be cornered. Nope, no, I'm not. That's good. And I'm cool. All right, so it's kind of muggy today, but it's cool. So, what did I wear? A merino wool sweater. It's, it's pretty lightweight and it felt really comfortable until I started moving. Dummy. Hi guys. Oh, did you already eat all your hay that was in your run-in, honeys? Good for you guys. You got some good rolls in, didn't ya? Oh my goodness. Toby will not leave Dakota's side. Goose is indifferent. He's gonna, he's like Goldilocks. He's gonna taste every pile of hay. Because one could be better than the other, right? That happens. Remember when you were a kid and you just about had to weigh and measure cake or pie or a cookie or a brownie? Like, take your pick. All right, hang on. Let me eyeball that. I'm going to get my scale out. Listen, I had five siblings, so it was hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm stealing that phrase from my ex, Carl. He said that's what it was like in his family with five kids, six kids in mine. So if you weren't fast and agile, you went hungry. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but close. I, I became a really fast eater and I still think I am. I'm trying to slow down and savor. I find that if I can slow down when I'm eating, chew slower, I don't eat as much. Duh. And yeah, I get fuller much faster, or I'm aware of it. It's just being aware. Did you think this was gonna turn into a 
discussion about emotional eating. Oh my gosh, I would eat when I was a kid until my stomach was distended. And I would have to take Ipecac to throw up. Because, let's say my mom made, you know, pasta and meatballs or pierogi or something like that in a big quantity. I would eat so fast and so much that I'd literally be laying on the floor in pain. And so my mom would have to give me the Ipecac to puke. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not a fan and he's not gonna be either. See all the waste on the ground? I only just discovered that this is where the lights are for the stalls. I'm very slow. And I don't really investigate unless I absolutely had to. Wow. Da -da -da. <laughs> Gotta turn the lights off. Dakota stall. Toby is completely smitten with you. Hi, Toby, you have a new friend. Oh, you relate to Dakota's stud energy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, he just seems so happy, both of them. Who is that? Is that your new friend? It, oh, you, oh, you gotta give him a little nudge? Is that a little love kiss? Yeah. Oh my gosh, too adorable. Yeah. So cute, buddy. Hi, honey. I put hay out for you guys. You don't have to try to chew on the short grass. You've got hay and Goose knows it. Hi, Tom. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, you got a new friend. So does Dakota. Yeah, yeah. Goose, he's just indifferent. Hi, huh, Bubba. I just, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not a sentimental kind of guy. I'm all about the hay. Hi, huh, Bubba. Yeah. There ain't no starving horses here, huh, Goose? Nobody's going hungry around here, are they? <laughs> you want to come say hi, but you don't want to leave the hay. Gotcha. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. 